are in the Richard J. Donovan Correctional Facility in Otay Mesa in San Diego, California, and we are holding a project paint class. When people participate in arts, they're more likely to uh, seek out other sorts of educational programs, so things like college courses, for example. People are more likely to reach out to family members, so to build or you know rebuild some of the familial bonds. People are less likely to engage in violent behavior, so you see a reduction in disciplinary infractions and institutional violence. So it's amazing, it has these sorts of ripple effects. I had no hope in life. You know, and now that I'm older, I have goals now. It's unfortunate that I'm still here, but it's never too late. You know, I thought I knew how to draw on pencil and pen, and I was like, uh, I'm gonna show, you know, what I could do. And then when I came here, and they're like, well, we're doing a social, political art, or we're gonna do a 3D art, or linoleum. And I was like, what's going on here? I don't even know what that is. And, uh, it, it, it opened me up, you know, it made me uh, say, you know what, I'm going to try it out. And in turn, I mean, it's, I find something that, especially this class right now, I find it to be passionate about, you know, uh, change. I find it to be passionate about, like, uh, second chances. So I think that it ends up having a lot of benefits, you know, sort of beyond the individual person who's participating, and for the community too, right? I mean, if we have people recidivate less, we're saving ourselves a lot of money. We are having safer neighbors, right? When people return, they're much less likely to return to prison. Art feels like a tangible piece of evidence of rehabilitation.